rolling? Okay. Action. Here, action. Here we are at Toque Blanche, one of my favorite cooking stores on earth. And they asked me to come down here and make some matcha. Now, what is matcha? The easiest way to explain it is just to show it. It's this lovely, lovely green tea. It's 100% green tea that's been finely ground into this lovely powder. And uh, unlike other green teas in which you either have a bag of tea or loose leaf tea and you steep them and then you throw away the leaves at the end, you're actually going to consume these leaves. We're going to whip it up with hot water and actually eat the tea, you know, in a way. It's sort of halfway between eating and drinking, I would say. And we have to sieve this tea because it's so finely ground that if we don't, it's a lot like cocoa. Like if you make uh, a nice cup of cocoa and you pour hot milk over it, you often get these little cocoa lumps, right? These clumps. Exactly the same. Um, it's static electricity that's keeping those clumps together. So, but if you run it through a sieve, it kind of breaks up the static electricity and um, you get this really creamy smooth brew instead of a clumpy brew, which we don't want. So that's why I'm bothering to sift this at all. So we sift it and we add very little water. It's going to be about one ounce of water about a shot glass full of water. And this water has, has boiled and it's cooled to about 180 degrees. And so very little water. And it turns out that the, the less water you use, the, the better the crema that you get. The, you, know, you really want this stuff to resemble espresso at the end. Um, it should have this really, really fine bubbled uh, crema. So I don't know if you can see this, but I'm just kind of Whisking it around before I turn this little machine on, I want the tea to be kind of relatively dissolved. It never dissolves completely, it just gets suspended in hot water, but I want to make sure there are no clumps in there. That's why I'm doing this. So then I turn it on and I begin to oxygenate it and really froth it up into this lovely crema like that. And you don't need to do it forever, it's like, you know, five, eight, ten seconds at the most. And then it's really happiest when you swirl it. It's a lot like wine. The more you swirl it, the more the aromas come out. Um, and it's just, the more you swirl it also, the, the more fine the crema gets. You can tell I'm slightly obsessed with crema. Um, so what we'll do now is we'll warm up the cup that we're gonna pour it in. And it also serves to thin out the tea a little bit. So I'm gonna pour, you know, another ounce in there. Like that. And then more swirling, more swirling. And in it goes, like that. And we get this really, really thick, beautiful crema on top. 